Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Positive Vibes with Simran. In this video, I am going to share with you 5 worst DIYs which you should never try on your face. As you know that on my YouTube channel, most of the videos are based on DIY products, either for skin or hair. But I do a lot of research before making any DIY. I used to test its pH, whether its pH is uh, ranging from 5 to 7 or not. As our skin's pH is 5.5, so the product which we are applying on our face should range between 5 to 7. I usually use these pH strips for uh, testing their pH, whether the products or ingredients which I am adding in that particular DIY are matching with each other or not. The product should not be very active. So what I want to say is you cannot apply anything on your face directly. Firstly, you should do some amount of research, then only apply that product on your face. So if you are new to skincare and you want to get a beautiful, glowy and healthy skin, then you should make sure to avoid these five DIYs. So without any further ado, let's get started with our video. So the first DIY you should avoid is applying lemon juice directly on your face as a brightening agent. We cannot apply lemon juice directly on our face because it is very acidic in nature. It is having pH of around 2 which is very less than as compared to our skin's pH which is around 5.5. As I have already mentioned you in the beginning of the video that the products which are having pH between 5 to 7 are suitable for skin. And if you apply this lemon juice on your face then it will give you several side effects. Like your skin will become very sensitive and irritated especially towards sun. So whenever you will go out in the sun then your skin will be more prone to damage. You may get hyperpigmentation, dryness, redness and even peeling of skin. So please avoid using citric acid that is this lemon juice directly on your face. The second DIY you should avoid is applying raw apple cider vinegar directly on your face, especially on pimples. If you will apply apple cider vinegar directly on your face, then it will adversely affect your skin because apple cider vinegar is an acid and its pH ranges from 2 to 3 which is far less than our skin's pH. So you should make sure to dilute it with water in the ratio of 1 by 3. There should be 3 parts of water in 1 part of apple cider vinegar. If you are using apple cider vinegar in this way then it's totally safe. The third DIY which you should avoid is applying baking soda as an exfoliator. Most of the people say that baking soda is very beneficial for removing blackheads and whiteheads. But no, this is totally a myth. Baking soda is a base and it's having pH far more than 7. And it will not benefit your skin. On the other hand, it will irritate it. So you should make sure to not apply baking soda on your face as an exfoliator. The fourth DIY which you should avoid is applying toothpaste on acne. This is the worst kind of DIY which you would adapt. It's true that several ingredients found in toothpaste are drying to skin and might help in shrinking your pimples. But toothpaste on skin may do more harm than good. Remember, toothpaste is formulated for your teeth which are the hardest part of your body not your skin which is the most sensitive part of your body. The harsh chemicals of the toothpaste could be too strong for your skin. On the top of it, toothpaste is having basic nature that is it is having pH much more than 7 which is automatically not suitable for your skin. So it will irritate your healthy skin. On the other hand, sodium laurel sulfate, it is another ingredient found in toothpaste may be too harsh to be used on acne or pimples. So always try to avoid using toothpaste on your acne or pimple. Instead of using toothpaste, there are several other remedies for treating acne and pimples which are natural and Ayurvedic, which are very safe for your skin. So try to adapt such kind of remedies for your acne or pimples. And even if natural remedies are not working for your acne or pimples, then you can use a serum or cream which is rich in salicylic acid, that is a beta hydroxy acid. The fifth DIY which you should avoid is rubbing alcohol on face. Don't use alcohol or hydrogen peroxide on your face to control oil and acne breakouts. 
they are not effective and they can damage your skin making the problem even worse it will cause your skin to dry out and when your skin is excessively dried your sebaceous glands respond by making even more oil because sebaceous glands present inside your skin are responsible for production of oil this excessive amount of oil or sebum can create unintentional acne breakouts so please avoid using alcohol or hydrogen peroxide directly on your face to control oil or acne breakouts so guys that's it for today's video if you like my video then like comment share and subscribe my channel Till then meet you next time take care bye bye